Okay, I'm in Stockholm at what? D Buyer Photo. D Buyer Photo. Okay, the best photo. So, um, there's there are uh, one of the longest uh, standing photo stores here in uh, Stockholm, and they've got an uh, incredible collection of cameras. Old school. It's almost like Tokyo here in Stockholm. All these Nikons. Are these waterproof cases? No, yeah, that's the real thing. Oh, that's crazy. That's Nikonos. They were made for underwater use. Oh, wow. All right, and we got some old Leicas. Got the good old M3. Everyone's favorite M5. M2s. Got a little mini Lux. A bunch of lenses. And here's a store. I'm, um, I ran out of film on my trip with my new Leica MP, so pick up some Portra and uh, I can get some photos printed. And here's the store. Ooh. Ah. Uh. So, Matthias, you said this is your favorite store. Yeah. So, uh, tell us more about what makes this store unique. Just look at this cable collect collection. Oh yeah, look at these. You can feel the history of photography in here. You just check out those cameras in there. And then if you're further back, you have even more, but you can't go back there. But check out from back. If you ever need a bag, check out this bag. Oh, cool, it's cool bags. Stuff up, stuff yeah, up. It's a great place to buy Leicas. Oh, great place to buy Leicas? Yeah. Nice. And um, introducing the store manager. May you want to introduce yourself to the camera? Hello, my name is Peter. I'm uh -huh. the store manager and owner of Vibars Photo in Stockholm. So and, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you can visit our website, www.vibarsphoto.se. So Peter, tell us more about the history of this uh, the store. Uh, when we started uh, as Vibars Photo in the, in the late 1940s, and uh, my father started working here about in mid 1950s, mm -hmm. and uh, from 1974 we owned the store and the family. Yes. And I've been running it now for about uh, 15 years. So, what is the coolest thing about running the store? Uh, I think the combination of uh, cool stuff, uh, of course, yeah. and uh, also have a wide range of different customers. Mm -hmm. We have everything from the uh, pointy shooters, mm -hmm. uh, who actually know nothing about technology, to the advanced uh, nerd of uh, <laughs> photography. So you never know who comes through the door. I think that's mm -hmm. the uh, nice thing to So do you still have a lot of people coming in um, interested in old analog cameras or is it mostly digital? Uh, both. I'd say 50-50. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And uh, you have also a combination. You have many who m maybe use a digital camera but mm -hmm. interested in the in the analog lenses for mm. different kind of use for mm. for their system today. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays that there's all these online retailers as a kind of a local store um, well, how do you guys overcome the, the issues that a lot of people are just going online to buy their cameras and what might be the benefit of getting you know a camera in a store like this well you have of course you have the help in selecting camera uh, mm -hmm. for your per actual purpose and mm -hmm. uh, then we also have uh, products in in stock and, mm -hmm. and also can get products that is not available online or mm -hmm. in many of the big electronic chains. Mm -hmm. uh, we also work with brands who you cannot buy in, in those kind of stores. So what is your favorite Leica? Uh, my favorite uh, is actually the uh, 3G. The 3G? Yeah. Hey, you have a nice little gold one. What's, what's that back there? That's a uh, Leica one. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's, uh, it's not original Luxus. It was uh, made uh, goldish in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. uh, afterwards. And uh, what's your favorite, I guess, budget minded rangefinder? Uh, without any changeable lenses, it's. Uh, you mean for digital or analog? Analog. Analog. I think uh, the. Uh, Canon Net G17. Oh, sweet. All right, yeah. Well, okay. uh, thank you for the interview, and uh, we'll link to your site and uh, keep the love of film and photography alive here in Stockholm. Yes. All right, signing up. Peace.